the book segment tonight. Even though it ran only three years, The Addams Family is an American TV classic. And one of the kids on the show, Pugsley, is an unforgettable presence. But for the actor who played him, Ken Weatherwax, Pugsley was a real life nightmare. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, The Addams Family. She's run away from home. That's ridiculous. She even left a note. I helped her write it. Mr. Weatherwax, I can't imagine going through life as Pugsley. You know, when that show was on, it was only on for two years in the 60s. But Pugsley, that was like everybody was calling everybody Pugsley in the playground trying to right. mock them, you know? What effect did it have on your life? Well, actually, it didn't have very much of an effect until after the show was over, and I had to go back to public school and deal with it. Father's flu. Pugsley, I'm afraid you're right. Frankly, I didn't deal with it very well. Um, I was kicked out of about six or seven schools. Really? And ended up in the service at the age of 17. So they were teasing you because you were Pugsley Adams. Yes, I, I did kind of draw a lot of fire because of that. If you knew she was running away, why didn't you stop her? You know women, once they've made up their minds. <laughs> from 10 to 16, you couldn't get away from being Pugsley. Hardly. Hardly. Now, did you, was... did you try after the show was canceled to do other roles? Yes, I went out and, and interviewed for several roles, but I was typecast to Pugsley. That settles it. No more school. Good thinking, sir. I was pretty recognizable on the street, and it, it created problems uh, at that time, but not today. So the Pugsley experience wasn't a good one for you. Doing the show was great. Being around the cast and all of that was wonderful. Children, you just never know what they're thinking. Now, you said you entered yeah. a service. What branch of service did you go into? Army. And you didn't have trouble there? That turned it around for you? No, actually, uh, once they shaved my head and put me in, in uh, OD green, I looked just like every other cadet that was there, so I didn't have a problem with the recognition while I was in the service. When you're doing the show, and it becomes a phenomenon fast, and it flamed out fast, too, you're working with yeah. serious actors here. So you're working with Carolyn Jones, and you're John Aston, Jackie Coogan. These people have to dress up like monsters and run around. Um, what was the atmosphere? Would, did they think that this was beneath them, or how did Absolutely they see it? not. No? They had a lot of fun with it. Lovely Morticia. You have such a way with roses. Being, you know, young and untrained, uh, I couldn't have done it without John and Jackie and Carolyn there to help us along and to give us direction. Mm -hmm. they, they were fantastic. Watch this, Father. Now, the only other kid in the country that had uh, the experience you had was Butch Patrick, who is Eddie Munster. The solution to which often depends on a thorough and concentrated perusal of world events in the newspaper. Boy, that little orphan Eddie must be in a real jam. I ran across to his website and dropped him an email and said, hey, look, it's high time you and I met, you know. Uh, I've been mistaken for you all my life, practically, <laughs> and I'm sure he has the same problem. Right. So uh, we got together, and we hit it off pretty good. He's a nice guy. Did like he go him. through what you went through? Uh, yes, pretty much, but he's more of a professional actor than I am. You know, I, like I said, I wasn't trained for this. Got any money? Twelve cents. Good. I thought you were broke. Well, look, yes. we're, we're glad you survived, Pugsley. I knew it wasn't going to be easy um, <laughs> because you know how kids are. And, yes. uh, you know, they always pick on the kid. And then when you go out to real life and there's Pugsley, you know what you're going to get. But we appreciate you right. coming on. And uh, thanks for Thank uh, you. coming in here, Mr. Weatherwax. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Reilly. The Adams Family.